Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a brand new video and indeed a brand new year. So today we've got a sales update, but before we do that, I think we need some effects in here for the brand new year. So, editor, that's better. Anyway, so today I've actually got someone in to do the sales update. It's none other than Jeremiah Betterwood from the world famous eBay school. So let's meet him. Well, hello there, boys and girls. My name is Jeremiah Betterwood from eBay School, a program that helps sellers across the world get better and gain experience on the eBay platform. And we do this for just a small monthly fee. I am one of the senior lecturers at eBay School and Ads has kindly invited me on to share with you a few of his sales and show you how a truly remarkable reseller does go about his daily business and daily activities on the eBay platform. So with that being said, and with just one more little plug in there for good measure, don't forget to check out eBay School, visit our website right now. But with that being said, we will get on, I will whip out Adam's phone and I will share with you a few of his sales. So, as you can see, this first sale is truly brilliant. We've got this antique Rafoli China 1902 Coronation Edward VII Cup and Saucer. I almost ran out of breath when I was actually t telling you that title there, and that is always a good sign of a good title. A good title is one that is so filled and so packed with all the variety of keywords that you almost have a hard time saying it. So essentially, this is a beautiful little sale here, a nice little item, and most of this coronation stuff isn't generally worth that much money. However, this one is worth a little bit more than some of the more standard pieces. And you can see here, you got £13.22 plus postage for this sale. And yes, a truly lovely little piece there. And it is very, very thin actually, this item. It's uh, not necessarily the most robust ceramic item. So obviously, he's gonna have to take quite a lot of care when packing this item. And also, a little tip with packaging things like this, make sure that you do put them in a very strong box and obviously wrap them with plenty of bubble wrap and put plenty of void fill in the spaces. And also you can obviously put dividers, cardboard dividers in the box with them to make sure they are gonna sit in there nicely as well. So that about wraps it up for this sale right here. Um, but hang on a minute. What's that? You're fired. Ah! <laughs> better wood. I think you'll find I have the better wood. Anyway, I had to come back from my future and save you from the incessant goody-goody nature of that guy. It drives me insane. Anyway, so with that being said, let's get on with the sales update. Actually, I need Ad's phone, don't I? So I'm going to actually have to go and uh, get that. Oh my god, it's, yeah, it's a mess down there. Anyway, yeah, let me just go and get that. Right, okay, we've got the phone. So uh, let's do this sales update like... Uh, ads would have wanted it to be done so yeah i actually don't know prices paid for some of this stuff so i'm just gonna go through it but we're gonna go through it in the proper way and we're gonna go through it with a little bit of bad so yeah i don't know why he tends to do these weird like random sales it's really odd like i do all my stuff wholesale as you know uh, i sell mainly sex toys and um yeah it, it just works so much better i don't know why everyone doesn't sell wholesale it's just so much easier than having all these unique horrible items in there but anyway we'll get on with this so we've got these uh, doctor who random accessories things um i believe these were probably from just a random job that he got at some point at least i'm assuming and uh yeah we, he got 16 pounds plus postage for that on bids uh yeah seems like a pretty good price actually for that but still these random items ugh i can't be doing with these ugh disgusting anyway so uh, we've got this vintage allerton's hand painted twin handled ceramic mug thing uh i don't know what this is it doesn't look very appealing to me at all really but uh he got 14.99 plus postage for it so i suppose someone wants it for a bit of money so good on them for collecting this kind of stuff this weird stuff anyway so next we've got this vintage art deco hand painted burlesley wear ceramic candlestick holder weird that he's only sold one of these on, on, on its own he's a bit of a moron for doing that isn't he but anyway um so we've got this art deco hand painted burlesley wear uh, candlestick holder 25 quid for that to be honest that's pretty surprising that it got that for one of them so props to him for getting that but yeah still selling one candlestick holder on its own 
bit weird. But yeah, anyway, so next one we've got this uh, the Observer's Book of British Birds for 9 95 free postage. Yeah, just a random old vintage book. I'm sure some old person will love this, but I don't know. Anyway, it could have been a young person, but probably going to be an old person in it buying this. But anyway, so next one, we've got this classic Doctor Who BBC collectible action figure, Roger Delgado, the master. Uh, again, I'm assuming he probably got this in one of his uh, famous Doctor Who job lots that he buys, thinking he's all that. Um, but yeah, so he got 19.99 for this, which I'm assuming is a pretty good price for that single figure on its own. Um, but yeah. So, unfortunately, Adam doesn't seem to have included the full 10 sales today, as he normally does on his sales updates. So, I've not got any more sales to show you, which is a bummer. But anyway, at least it's a quick sales update. So, yeah, um, I suppose I'd better get off back to the future. So, yeah, let's go back to the future. See you soon, guys. Well, I hope Jeremiah treated you well. I guess he let himself out i'm not sure um but yeah anyway don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't already please do like this video for more things like this in the future